Hey, what is up guys? My name is Grief Drums and today we are going to be taking a look at some more advanced map tips and tricks. After asking you guys to vote which map you wanted to see next, you chose Chalet, so here we go. As per normal, if you already know these tips and tricks, awesome. If you don't, hopefully they will improve your game. As usual, we're going to start with some drone placements. In the main lobby, if you try and jump up here, you can't do it. Go up the stairs slightly and move to the right. You can jump up on top of this lip and move all the way along it, which provides a brilliant line of sight for the majority of the Great Hall and the upstairs hallways. This is pretty much like having one of the cameras that the defenders have. On the opposite side of the upstairs, you can jump up on top of this railing and over onto the opposite lip. This gives you a better view of the library and along the top corridor and also a little bit into the bar. In the library itself, by coming over to the far left hand corner, you can jump up on top of this statue. From there, you can get on top of the window lip, onto the top of the actual bookcase, and if you look up, there are loads of wooden beams running along the roof. You can get up on top of these, you can jump around in between them, it keeps your drone fairly hidden, and you can see a lot of the room. The same tactic can be applied out in the hallway just outside of the library, by jumping up on top of the railing, onto the light, and then up onto the wooden timber beams. You can tuck yourself right over into the corner by the defender's camera to get a pretty good view of the stairs and the upstairs hallway. In the master bedroom, by jumping up on top of the fireplace, your drone actually gets caught on the top of it. You can then jump up on top of the bear. Whilst this would normally be a great place, you're likely to get spotted, so go up even further and into the roof. From here, you get a good view of the room, but you can go one step further than this by jumping over to the left-hand side. You can get an even better view by hanging out in this window. To check out if anyone's hiding in the bathtub, jump on top of the toilet, then up onto the shelf. You can then go up on top of the beams in here as well. Even if you're not attacking the master bedroom, by putting a drone in here, you can keep an eye out for roamers. While we're speaking about roamers, to prevent getting flanked, whether you are going upstairs or downstairs, put a drone just outside of the kitchen. There's a double door there. By jumping up on the shelf and then onto this wooden support, your drone is really well hidden. You can keep an eye on anyone going up or downstairs. The kitchen is full of places to hide, but if I'm completely honest, nine times out of 10, you will get spotted in here because people will be looking for it. You can get on top of this shelving unit or on top of the fan, but don't expect your drone to be there the next time you look at it. It's a similar story for the dining room. You're probably better off hiding in the bushes, but you can get up here to get a good vantage point. And in the bar, by jumping on the karaoke machine, then on top of the dartboard, you can jump up on top of the wolf's head, and you can move around a little bit up here on top of speakers and other things, but you get the general idea. On the opposite side of the bar, you can jump up on these wall-mounted wine racks, and then up on top of the speaker. From here, same story. You can jump around a hell of a lot, and move your drone around to get a better view. Nine times out of ten, though, you will get spotted in here as well. So try and get a little bit creative as to where you're hiding and don't be repetitive. Instead of leaving your drone in the garage itself, try and push them out a little bit because the enemy don't like hunkering down in there. They know that as soon as that wall is blown, you're going to have a good line of sight on them. So instead, they hide out in this cupboard here and they also push out into this corridor. Now, this corridor itself isn't normally somewhere you'd worry about keeping an eye on. However, by putting your drone up on top of this ventilation duct, you can keep an eye on the hallway just in case, and if you need to, in the middle of a round, you can drop it down and push it into the room to have a look about. In the garage on the opposite side of the map, you can jump up on top of this shelving system and up onto the pipes on the roof. This can give a really good view of the garage to allow you to push into there, or alternatively, by moving it to the very side of this pipe, you can see all the way down the hallway. If defenders are hunkering down behind the bar, shoot the roof out just above them. By going to the very top of the stairs in the Great Hall, you can actually blow the floor out, and by doing this, you get a really good line of sight. Even if there's no one there, no one is going to want to stand there anymore. Don't forget that all of this floor up here is destructible, so try and make use of it. In the same vein, as a defender, by taking out this roof hatch here, you can actually get a really good line of sight onto the doorway coming into the games room. This can be handy if you're protecting the bar or on bomb, as people very often like to plant the bomb just inside of this door. If you are playing bomb, it's better off to reinforce the hatch and instead take out part of the roof. If you're playing as Valkyrie, do not throw two cameras here, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to throw two. One is from the doorway, and one is just by pushing out a little bit further onto the balcony so you can get it a little bit higher up. Now, the view from the one thrown from the doorway, you don't get a very good line of sight, but if you go out just a little bit, you get a lot better view. Both of these are very well hidden in the tree and are very unlikely to be spotted. Now, this tip is for defenders. I'm going to show it with a breaching charge just to make it simple to understand. By opening the floor just here, you get a really good line of sight down into the hallway from the garage. 
This allows you to cut off that as an entry point for anyone moving through the garage towards the wine cellar. In my last video, someone came back and said, oh, but defenders don't have breaching charges. I know they don't, but shoot it with a shotgun. If you want to peek at the kitchen window, which isn't advisable now that Blackbeard's been added, open this wall up. You get a good line of sight onto the window, plus you can move left and use this pillar. Just be careful of the drone hole down there. The reason I mention the drone hole is that people can shoot through from the outside. Just on the outside, there's a little bit of a lip where the ground dips down. By lying down in there, you can get a really good line of sight all the way through to the opposite side of the trophy room. I have got many kills from doing this just by lying down and having a good old peek through. So just be wary of it. In all honesty, it probably wouldn't hurt to just put a shield down in front of it. Again, this is more of a tip for defenders. By opening up the floor in the shower, you get a really good line of sight down onto the stairs. This can stop anyone coming up to attack the master bedroom or down to attack the wine cellar. If you're trying to defend the library itself, by opening a tiny little portion of this window at the bottom left hand corner, you can get a really good line of sight onto the ladder. This can stop anyone from coming up and automatically cut off the windows as an entry point. The only problem with this is you can be spotted from the very far side of the map. So try and keep your distance from the window. If you're attacking the wine cellar by going into the main lobby and opening up the floor just here, you get a great line of sight down into the majority of the room. Opening the floor up in this room can be so filthy because it will automatically cut off the majority of the room to the defenders and they will all clear out worrying about being shot through the roof. From upstairs, by leaning over this balcony, you can see all the way down to the master bedroom entrance. This can be really filthy because you've got the cover of this brick fireplace, so try to utilize it. This can be a lot safer than pushing down the corridor. If you jump off the top of this balcony, you can take damage from that fall. If you've got the opportunity to, move all the way over to this side and jump down and you land on a little table. You don't take any damage that way. Alternatively, move to this spot and jump up on top of these green boxes and the fall is broken again. Just next to the helipad outside, if you're playing as someone with either an SMG-11 or Glaz's sniper rifle, hell, even a DMR, you can utilize this tower to your advantage. This gives a really good line of sight onto the shower room and onto the library room. This can push back anyone that is trying to do the ladder trick that I was talking about earlier, and it's something I don't see enough people using. The only reason I think that would be the case is because they're worried about getting down in a short amount of time. You can get down by doing this, however, it is a bit risky. The final tip for this video is for anyone that is attacking the dining area. Very often someone is hiding down in this little corner, but you can easily take them out from the roof. By coming up here and opening it up just in front of this computer that's on the floor, you get a really good line of sight down and it's an easy, easy kill. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you know any tips and tricks that I haven't mentioned in this video, make sure to let me know those as well, as I love learning more about these maps. Until the next map is out, there's going to be one more map video, which is going to be Cafe Dostoevsky, which should be out in the next couple of weeks. So make sure to subscribe in order to get a notification when that comes out. But until next time, guys, stay reckless and relentless. I got this shit, boys. Oh.